In late 2025, the inner solar system is about to experience something astronomers rarely see. A surge of giant comets, including the Interstellar Visitor 3, I slash Atlas, all crowding Earth's neighborhood at once. Forget routine sky events. This packed lineup means rare scientific windows and urgent stakes, as bizarre jets and solar storms threaten to reshape what we know about the origins of these icy wanderers. Why are so many giants waking up now, and what might they reveal, or destroy, before the year is out? Here's how the comet traffic jam of the century began. Four giant comets in a single season is not just rare, it's almost unheard of. The inner solar system, usually a stage for lone wanderers or the occasional pair, is suddenly crowded. Astronomers around the world are scrambling to keep up. Professional observatories and backyard telescopes alike are under pressure, with every clear night bringing a new target and a new data set. This is not the usual slow parade of icy visitors. Instead, it's a traffic jam, with each comet demanding urgent attention and offering a fleeting chance to catch phenomena that may not repeat for decades. The lineup is striking. There's an interstellar traveler, 3i slash Atlas, whose hyperbolic path cuts through the solar system at a steep, retrograde angle. Alongside it, three bright comets, Lemon, Swan, and K1 slash Atlas, are all approaching or passing their closest points to the Sun, each following its own arc but sharing the same crowded space near Earth's orbit. This convergence is forcing astronomers to balance resources and time as no one wants to miss the subtle changes, outbursts, or disruptions that can happen in a matter of hours. The observing pressure is intense. Coordinated campaigns are running across continents, with international networks scheduling telescope time to catch every possible window. The stakes are high for science. Each comet acts as a probe, revealing how solar wind, magnetic fields, and the sun's outbursts sculpt their tails and jets. When so many comets are active at once, the opportunity to compare their behavior under similar solar conditions is unmatched. It's not just about collecting pretty images. These are live experiments in dusty plasma physics, chemistry, and solar system history. For many researchers, this is a once-in-a-career event. The sense of urgency is real because the window will close quickly. The comets will fade, the data will disperse, and the next time this kind of traffic jam happens, today's technology and expertise may be out of reach. For now, the race is on, and every observation counts. The calendar for this comet season reads like a checklist of rare events. The first entry is July 1, 2025, when the Atlas survey in Chile flagged a new object, 3I slash Atlas, whose orbital fit revealed it had come from beyond our solar system. Its path is steep and retrograde, with an inclination of about 175.1 degrees, a signature of interstellar origin. For months, 3I slash Atlas speeds toward the Sun, but on October 21st, it reaches superior conjunction, passing behind the Sun from Earth's perspective and disappearing into solar glare. Just eight days later, on October 29th, it swings through perihelion at approximately 1.36 astronomical units from the Sun. Observers must wait until late November or December for it to reappear, when it will be visible again for ground-based telescopes and long exposure imaging. Meanwhile, C-2025 R2, also known as SWAN, has already made its closest approach. It reached perihelion on September 12th, coming within 0.5 astronomical units of the Sun. Now it's fading and moving outward, its window for easy observation closing. The current highlight is C slash 2025A6, known as Lemon. This comet is approaching its own perihelion on November 8th at a distance of 0.53 astronomical units. Lemon is active and dynamic, with jet structures and spiral features that change over minutes, a favorite for both binocular users and telescopic imaging campaigns. Its rapid evolution has made it the centerpiece of coordinated international observation, especially after the Tenerife campaign captured twin spiral jets in October. Looking ahead, C-2025 K1, also known as Atlas, is still inbound. 
Its perihelion is expected on December 31st at just 0.33 astronomical units, the tightest solar pass of all four comets this season. The exact brightness and visibility are still being refined as new data arrives, but its close approach has already put it on watch lists for late year activity. This schedule is more than a list of dates. Each event is a unique opportunity. The geometry of their orbits, especially the steep interstellar track of 3I slash Atlas, means that no two observing windows are alike. Each comet's closest approach to the Sun marks a peak in activity, but also a narrow window for observation. For astronomers and skywatchers, the coming months are mapped out in advance, with every night offering a different alignment, a new challenge, and the potential for discovery. The Atlas survey's role in identifying both 3I slash Atlas and K1 slash Atlas underscores just how vital wide-field sky monitoring has become in this era of cometary traffic. 3. I slash Atlas stands apart from every other comet in this crowded season. Its trajectory is not just steep, it's hyperbolic, with an eccentricity over 6 and an inclination of about 175 degrees. That path is a mathematical signature. 3. I slash Atlas is not from here. It entered the solar system from interstellar space, crossing the planetary plane almost upside down, then swinging out again, never to return. For planetary scientists and dynamicists, this is a rare chance to study matter that has traveled for millions, even billions of years between the stars. The scientific value of 3i slash Atlas lies in its chemistry and its dynamical past. Observations from the Very Large Telescope, the James Webb Space Telescope, and the Hubble Space Telescope have revealed a volatile inventory dominated by carbon dioxide, with water ice, carbon monoxide, cyanide, atomic nickel, and carbonyl sulfide also present. This composition is both familiar and alien, sharing traits with solar system comets, but hinting at subtle differences shaped by an origin far from our Sun. The outgassing rates, tracked as the comet neared perihelion, show that carbon dioxide is the main driver, especially as the comet heats up. These measurements are more than a catalog of chemicals. They are clues to the conditions in the comet's birth environment and to the processes that shaped its journey through the galaxy. Dynamical modeling, using high-precision astrometry tied to the Gaia reference frame, allows researchers to trace 3 wontin slash atlases path back through the Milky Way. Monte Carlo simulations, with thousands of orbital clones, suggest a likely origin in the galaxy's thin disk, a region rich in metals and young stars. The comet's velocity and trajectory rule out local associations or recent stellar encounters. Instead, the evidence points to ejection from a dense, volatile rich region perhaps 100 million years ago. Each new data point, each night of observation, refines that story. For the scientific community, 3i slash Atlas is more than a visitor. It's a messenger from another solar system, carrying information that cannot be found anywhere else in the sky. Solar activity is more than just a backdrop for this season's comets. It's a constant force, shaping what astronomers see from Earth. In recent weeks, a series of coronal mass ejections, or CMEs, swept through the corridor between Venus and the path of 3i slash ATLAS. These massive eruptions of plasma and magnetic field raced outward, crossing regions where comets now orbit. When a CME intersects a comet's position, the effects can be immediate and dramatic. Ion tails can disconnect, jets can twist or brighten, and the entire appearance of a comet can shift in a matter of hours. To track these changes, researchers rely on a network of spacecraft and sophisticated solar models. The ENLIL and WSA models, fed by data from missions like SOHO, STEREO, and DSCOVR, forecast the timing and trajectory of solar storms. Real-time telemetry pinpoints when a CME is likely to cross a comet's orbit, alerting both professionals and amateurs to watch for sudden changes. This isn't guesswork. Alerts from the International Asteroid Warning Network and NASA's Space Weather Bulletins have already lined up with observed disruptions in comet tails, confirming the direct link between solar events and cometary response. For 3i slash ATLAS, the recent CMRs are of particular interest. 
The comet is hidden behind the Sun from Earth's view, but models show that these solar storms have passed directly through its projected location. When 3I-ATLAS reappears in late November or December, astronomers will be looking for evidence of these encounters, disconnected tails, altered jets, or other signs of solar interaction. The same framework applies to LEMON, SWAN, and K1-ATLAS. Each comet's changing face is not just a product of its own chemistry or orbit, but a real-time record of the Sun's moods captured in plasma and dust. Understanding this solar context is essential for interpreting the rapid, sometimes startling changes that define this rare cometary season. On a mountaintop in Tenerife, a team of astronomers caught something extraordinary. Using high-cadence imaging, they tracked Comet Lemon's inner coma as it unleashed two persistent jets, named A and B, that twisted into spirals and shifted shape in real time. These jets didn't just drift or fade, they pulsed and curled, sometimes changing their appearance in less than five minutes. The jet's motion traced out the comet's rotation, revealing a nucleus spinning on an axis, launching material in steady, repeating bursts. The team mapped the timing and direction of each outflow, finding that the spiral patterns were not random. Instead, they matched the expected behavior of a rotating body venting gas and dust from fixed points on its surface. Spectroscopy added another layer of detail. As the jets brightened, the instruments picked up clear signatures of ionized molecules, CO+, H2O+, CR2, and CN, each leaving its own spectral fingerprint. The strength of these lines fluctuated with the jet's activity, showing that the outbursts were not just dusty, but also rich in charged particles. The presence of CO+, and H2O+, ions in particular, signaled intense solar-driven chemistry, with ultraviolet light and the solar wind stripping electrons from escaping gases. These ions respond instantly to changes in sunlight and magnetic fields, making the jets sensitive indicators of both the comet's interior and its environment. The Tenerife campaign's rapid-fire imaging proved essential. Minute-scale changes would have been invisible in single snapshots or slow surveys, only by stacking sequences and analyzing every frame could the team watch the jets evolve, spiral, and sometimes flicker out. The payoff was a living record of cometary activity, captured as it happened, a direct window into the physics of dusty plasma, where gas, dust, and solar energy combine to create shapes that are both beautiful and deeply informative. The data from Tenerife now stands as a benchmark, showing how much can be learned when observers are ready to catch a comet's most fleeting moments. C-2025R2, known as SWAN, now drifts quietly away from the sun. Its brightness is dropping, and the once prominent tail is fading into the background sky. For observers, SWAN is a reference point, a stable, predictable comet that offered a brief window of activity after perihelion, but now serves mostly as a baseline for comparison. Yet even in its calm retreat, SWAN left behind puzzles. Images captured a distinct bifurcation in its tail, and some reports hint at possible fragmentation, challenging earlier models of its dust-to-gas ratio. These anomalies spark debate among theorists, who are now revisiting their assumptions about how solar wind and internal cometary structure interact. C-2025K1, or ATLAS, is a different story altogether. Its approach is anything but routine. With the closest perihelion of this season's comets, just 0.33 astronomical units from the Sun, K1 has the potential to surprise. Some models predict a dramatic outburst or even fragmentation as solar heating intensifies. The risk is real. Comets on such tight orbits often break apart, and the exact timing or outcome is impossible to call. Meanwhile, the community is divided over how quickly data should be released and who should get credit for discovery. The Minor Planet Center's initial delay in publishing K1's orbital elements and the subsequent debate over naming rights have exposed tensions between rapid transparency and careful verification. As the year draws to a close, K1 remains the wild card, both in the sky and within the astronomical community. A comet's tail is more than a stream of gas and dust, it's a moving laboratory for plasma physics. As sunlight heats the nucleus, ices sublimate and release both neutral particles and dust grains.
Some of these grains pick up electric charges, while gases are ionized by ultraviolet light. Once charged, these particles are swept up by the solar wind, a constant flow of plasma and magnetic fields from the sun. Here, the Lorentz force takes over. Charged dust and ions spiral and accelerate along magnetic field lines, shaping the comet's tail in real time. The result is a tail that can bend, kink, or even snap off entirely when the magnetic environment shifts. Within the tail, double layers form, regions where positive and negative charges separate, creating local electric fields. These structures can persist for hours or even days, maintaining sharp boundaries or sudden breaks that observers sometimes spot as disconnections or abrupt changes in brightness. Because dust grains are heavier than ions, they respond more slowly, often lagging behind or tracing out arcs and spirals as the tail evolves. This separation explains why comets can display both a straight, bluish ion tail and a broader, curved dust tail at the same time. Understanding these dusty plasma effects is key for interpreting comet images. Rapid tail changes, sudden breaks, or odd morphologies aren't just random, they're signatures of charged particles interacting with the solar wind's shifting magnetic fields. For anyone watching the sky or reviewing telescope data, these patterns are the fingerprints of plasma physics in action, unfolding millions of kilometers from Earth. A rare comet season like this calls for more than just watching from the sidelines. Backyard telescopes, remote observatories, and even binoculars become tools for real science, not just personal enjoyment. The International Asteroid Warning Network IAWN, has put out a call for coordinated observations as 3I slash Atlas prepares to reappear after conjunction. They're asking for stacked time series images and precise photometry, especially in the weeks following late November. For Lemon, rapid changes in jet structure mean that even short observing runs can capture something new. Amateurs who can record sequences and process them with open source software are helping track minute-by-minute -minute evolution that larger facilities might miss, while IAWN bulletins flag high-priority targets and alert the community to sudden outbursts or tail disconnections. For near-sun imaging, patience and technique pay off. Single frames are noisy and unreliable, but stacked exposures reveal structure and movement. Avoid chasing viral headlines or unverified claims. The most reliable information comes from processed images, vetted reports, and community-shared data. Every observation, no matter how small, can shape the scientific record. Whether you're capturing a time-lapse of Lemon's jets, measuring the fading arc of Swan, or helping pin down 3i slash Atlas's path, your data joins a worldwide effort. This is a season where citizen astronomers stand shoulder to shoulder with professionals, and the next breakthrough could come from any backyard or remote-controlled scope. As the comets brighten and fade, the window for discovery is open, but not for long. In 2025, the inner solar system will host one interstellar object, 3i slash Atlas, and three major comets, all reaching perihelion within just four months. This rare alignment, documented through international surveys and community campaigns, offers an unprecedented view of cometary dynamics and solar interactions. The Tenerife campaign revealed Lemon's twin jets changing in real time, while 3i slash Atlas remains hidden behind the sun, with its true composition and origin awaiting further analysis after November. Some questions remain open. Precise orbital inclinations, the risk of fragmentation for K1, Atlas, and the full impact of recent solar outbursts on comet structure. Still, the evidence confirms this season's scientific value and the importance of coordinated observation. As the files and images continue to be released, the 2025 comet season stands as a reminder. When rare objects converge, rapid collaboration and open data transform our understanding of the solar system.